I'd like to say good evening to each and every one out there tonight. It's great to be able to come into your home another time and sing these old songs that we love to do so well. If you're out there tonight and there's a, there's a number on the bottom of your screen, why, if you want to have a prayer request or a song request, why, call in. Tim's in there on the phone, and, and he'll take care of it for you. This next song we have for you is one that's been around a long time. Uh, this world is not my home. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't live at home in this world anymore. Oh,
this time I'm going to ask Wanda Bennett if she won't lead us in a word of prayer. Our precious Heavenly Father, as we humbly bow in your holy divine presence, we want to come thanking you and praising you for being so good to us. And Lord, we see out there that there's many needs. There's many sick and afflicted, Lord. And those that are lonely, may you touch them this day. May this service bless them. And for the unsaved, may they come to the saving knowledge of you. And dear Father, be with those that's lost loved ones this week. Comfort them that only you can do, Lord. And Father, we want to ask you for this service this evening. God, that it will bless each and every one that's listening in. Lift them up, we pray in the name of Jesus. Use us for your praise and your glory. Help us to be your willing servants. And bless us with a message this evening, Lord, that will stir our hearts and bless the messenger. Lord, we pray that you'll keep us safe from all harm and evil. Lead us, guide us, and in death save us. And, Father, we want to give you the glory and the thanks for that. For it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We want to bring our program out tonight to all those in the hospitals and rest homes this evening and in the high rise and all those who lost their loved ones here in the last few weeks well we want to dedicate the program out to you tonight and also we got mother's day coming up here in another few days and uh, we want to sing a, some songs about mother and this is what we're going to have here for our next song if i could hear my mother pray again <coughs> the women's going to do this and we're going to join in on the chorus how sweet and happy seems those days of which I dream when memory recalls them now and then and with what rapture sweet my weary heart would be if I could hear That's a great old song that brings back a lot of memories, too. If I could hear my mother pray again. We've got another song about Mama here tonight, and this is also another one that uh, I'm sure will bring back many memories to your heart here tonight. Just shake hands with Mother again. If I should be living when Jesus comes and can go
We got another song here tonight, kind of like an invitation song. I've used that a lot of times. Is "Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior." Pass me not, O Gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Why? Long black train 
making you wonder if the price was pain. He's just waiting on your heart to say, let me ride on that long black train. But you know there's victory in the Lord, I say, victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father and His holy name, and don't go riding on that long black train. Oh, I can hear the whistle from a mile away. It sounds so good, but I must stay away. That train's a beauty, making everybody stare. There's only destination is the middle of nowhere. But you know there's victory in the Lord, I say. Victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father and His holy name. And don't go riding on that long black train. It's cling to the Father and His holy name. And don't go riding on that long black train. Just watch out, brother, for that long black train. The devil's a driving that long black train. Yeah, go rest high on the mountain. Okay. So, uh... I know your life on earth is trouble. Only you could feel the pain. You weren't afraid to face the devil. You were no strangers to the rain. Or as high on that mountain, on your work on earth is done. Go to hell. Shout not for the father in the sun. Oh, how we cried the day you left sin. as we get around your grave to grieve. Wish I could see the angels' faces when they heard. Or as high on that mountain And your work on earth is done Go to heaven on a shout Love for the Father and the Son Or as high on that mountain and your work on earth is done. Go to heaven a shout. Love for the Father in the Son. That, was, that song there was for Shirley and Ernie, Ernest Gifford, and it doesn't. It says anyone okay. meet me up by the river. Probably that cat channel wanting that. Yeah. Well, we've got a song for cat this evening. Somebody called in, I'll meet you by the river, and we'll try and do that for you this evening. And that was Shirley and Ernest Skifford wanted that high on the mountain. Mm -hmm. Over on the bright elation shore, where the howling tempest comes no more, I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river. Some sweet day. Charming roses never bloom. I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river. Some sweet day, some happy day. I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river. Some sweet day, some happy day. By the bright and shining river. Bright and shining river. Far away. Beyond the stars, I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river. Some, some sweet day, day, some happy day. After all the sorrows and the strife, after all the troubles.
Rose of this flight I'll meet you by the river Meet you by the river Some sweet day Some happy day When we get the party on the sea What a happy meeting that will be I'll meet you by the river Meet you by the river Some sweet day Mother's Day's coming up, and we're going to try to do Build My Mansion. So, Cat Channel, this is going to be sent out especially for you. <coughs> I have no castle, no earthly kingdom, but my cabin will do. near God's throne. Build my mansion next door to Jesus and tell the angels I'm coming home. It doesn't sits near the throne. My mother's mansion may be close by me across the golden avenue. She was the first one to teach me of heaven and the very first Tell me about you. Build my mansion next door to Jesus and tell the angels I'm coming home. It doesn't matter who lives around me, just so my mansion. Sits near the throne. <clears throat> We've got another song we're going to do here this evening for all those that lost their loved ones here in the last few weeks. And uh, listen to the words we try to do how beautiful heaven must be. <clears throat> we read of a place that's called heaven. It's made for the pure and the free. These truths in God's word he has given. How beautiful heaven must be. How beautiful. 
before heaven must be. Sweet home of the happy and free, fair haven of rest for the weary. How beautiful heaven must be. When most of us leave home, we usually call or send a letter to those we love the most. I believe if our loved ones have gone to be with Jesus and could write such a letter today, this is what he might say. I had a safe trip. The angels carried me safe into the Father Abraham's bosom. Oh, the thrill I felt when I met the one who died for me. And no matter what you've heard, there are just no words to describe the glories that surrounds him. I'm satisfied here why every need has been supplied. Just wait till you see my new home. There's no, I'm satisfied here because there's no sin, no murder, no need to even lock the door. Perfect peace reigns here. I'm satisfied because there's no sickness. I'm satisfied because wise, I've never felt better in my life. I have a new body, just like Jesus. Oh, I wish I could heard the singing. David played his harp today. A great big crowd gathered by the river of life and sang a new song. Of course, the angels couldn't sing that song, but they sure was listening. It's really wonderful here because there's no strangers. Why, everybody knows my name. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they showed me around. Seems like I've been here forever. The weather is great, and there's a cool breeze blowing all the time. You know, one of the nicest things, night or darkness never comes. It's light here all the time. Jesus himself is the light of the city. Please remember, I'm safe. I'm satisfied. I'm not sick anymore. There'll be no need to write again because I was told today that nothing ever changes. In closing, the only thing that'd make this place more wonderful and complete would be all would be for all my friends and loved ones to join me here in heaven. The angels so sweetly are singing. Up there by the beautiful sea, sweet chords from the gold harps are ringing. How beautiful heaven must be! How beautiful heaven must be! Sweet home of the happy and free, fair heaven of rest. Come on here, girls and boys. Tracy and her group's coming tonight. and Keep your prayers for Teresa because she's got a little bit of problem going on right now, and I'm sure God's going to take care of it. And so here's Tracy and her group. Uh, the first song we have this evening is Heaven Will Be My Resting Place. Life, my troubles are many, but I'm looking out of the world. Trusting God, trusting God, redeeming His yes, redeeming grace. Trusting in Jesus, serving Him daily, nothing can give me fear or dread. Heaven will be my resting place. Heaven will be my resting place. Master, seeking for the one who will be. Heaven will be. Heaven 
We had a request for The King is Coming, and that is for David and Betty Rowan. The marketplace is empty, no more traffic in the street. All the beautiful schools are silent, and it's no more time to run the street. Busy housewives, Easter labor. to send this next song out to uh, Kathy Smith at the high rise uh, going away with a friend the course is first. Friends, I'm on clothes 
Well, we've got some prayer requests here to take care of. and we got Mae Collins and Betty Harvey and Melly Lewis and Cat Channel, Emma Zickafoos, Barb Zickafoos, Haz Lewis, Nick Baker, Boyles Carter and Israel, and Kathy, Norma Sines, Rose and Floyd, and Nathan Lewis, Roger Sines, Dave and Betty Rowan, Rita Riley, Lawrence Sines, Jean Starr, Glenna Timney, Tom Reed and Christy, Toots Bennett, and the family of Mike Westfall, and Bert M Martini's family, no, Betty Osborn. Ernest and Shirley Gifford and their grandkids, and Bobby Lynn Thompson, Bridget Dad, Teresa Kreitz, Steve Osborne, and I'm sure there's many more out there Sharon tonight. That, Sharon and Lenny. Hmm? Sharon and Lenny. Sharon and Lenny, yeah. There's many more out there tonight, I'm sure, that needs uh, our prayers. And as I've said before and many times, I've said it's time that each and every one of you can have a part in the program tonight. And our Heavenly Fathers, we're here tonight, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity, God, to be able to come on to the air and bring these old songs out to the many people, Father. And now we're here, Lord, bringing these prayer requests out to you, O oh God. And you know about them, O oh Father, and you know the needs of every one, O oh God. And we pray for Teresa, Lord, that, Father, you might help her a bit healed up again, O oh God. And, Lord, all these others, Father, that need your help, Father. And those that have lost their loved ones, O oh God, what a great sorrow it is, Lord. Father, especially when it happens so soon, O oh God, and unexpected, Lord. And, Father, we know, O oh God, that you have a plan, O oh God. And we know, Father, we don't know what the plan is, O oh Lord, but we put our faith and trust in you, O oh God, because you're the one, Father, that knows everything. Here we are, Lord, with all these people that are sick and afflicted and they can't take care of themselves and they can't heal themselves, Lord, and all the doctors can do, Lord, is operate, Father, and take out the bad parts, Lord, and sew them back up. But, Lord, it's up to you, Father, to make them well. It's up to you, Lord, to, to heal them back up, O oh God. So, Father, with your great help tonight, Lord, we need you to, tonight, Father, to be with all these people, Lord, and be with those, Father, in the rest homes, O oh God, and Father, in, in the high rise, and all these other places, Lord, in the hospitals, Father, that has a problem of seating, Lord. And then, O oh Father, those, O oh God, that, that don't know what to do, Lord, and they've tried everything else, Father, and everything seems to be failing, O oh God. We pray tonight, Lord, that Tim may be able to bring a message here that can tell him, O oh Father, about this great Savior, Lord, that has a great love for everyone, and he can heal the hearts and bring joy and peace to everyone. Give you praise in Jesus' name, and amen. amen. Come on, Tim. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Well, it is certainly uh, uh, good to be back with you. I might tell Tracy you all got that song coming soon. Yeah, we'll maybe sing that before we leave tonight. <laughs> I'll give you 10 or 15 minutes to practice up. Uh, but uh, it is good to uh, 
be here, and I know the Lord is coming uh, soon, and what a joy it is to uh, come together and to worship, and you know, uh, tonight we would like to uh, send a uh, program out to those at Holbrook's there. I know uh, Tommy and Christy and Becky Gould and, and uh, Glenna Tenney and many of those there that watch us every week, and uh, I appreciate that so much, and when... Uh, uh, you go down there, if you uh, stop and visit on Monday night, you can hear uh, the program just about in any hallway. And, you know, uh, I just uh, know that uh, God is powerful, and He can do, use all things uh, for His glory. And tonight, you know, that's why we're here, to worship together. And that's uh, really what I'm going to uh, talk about tonight, is about the Lord's Supper and, you know, I know that many of you may be out there that uh, uh, don't uh, go to church anywhere and don't have opportunity to uh, uh, partake in the Lord's Supper. But this is something the Lord tells us to do. And uh, I uh, tell everyone that uh, if you are able and uh, uh, have opportunity, uh, get in a Bible-believing church and uh, go to work and, and start serving the Lord in any uh, way you can because uh, God blesses obedience. It's not uh, how much you do and, and what you do, but if you're obedient to God and let the Holy Spirit lead you, I can tell you that He will certainly bless you tonight. And, and if you want to look in the 11th chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians, that uh, where I'm going to be taking my text out, and this is Paul, and Paul was talking to the church here at Corinth about, uh, you know, they had uh, uh, had divisions among themselves, and they were coming to church and couldn't get along with one another, and, and I know that never happens uh, today, but you know, uh, uh, God tells us to come together and to confess our sins and to uh, uh, come together with joy, and what Paul was uh, telling him here that you need to put Jesus Christ first in your life and uh, make a personal relationship with him and and start working as unto the Lord that uh, when you start serving uh, Jesus Christ and have him in full focus I can tell you we can never do enough when you realize how much he has done for me so uh, if you have your Bibles 23rd verse of chapter 11 it says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death, and right there, till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we judge ourselves, we should be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Let us pray. Lord, we do thank you for uh, uh, the saving grace, Lord, that uh, when we stand before judgment, God, we stand uh, holy and acceptable through the blood of Jesus Christ. And this very day, O oh Lord, we pray, God, that if there be one that has never bowed down and, and asked you to uh, save their soul, God, that you would draw them this very night, Lord, that they would uh, confess their sins and that they would ask you to come and live with them. Lord, I love you tonight, and I thank you for uh, your, your 
your life that you lived and for uh, overcoming death, Lord, that we might have the hope, not as the world gives, but as you give. We praise you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And this here is Paul, it's the 23rd verse there that he had received of the Lord that he delivered, that he was telling the church. And uh, he was saying that the, the Lord, that same night that he was betrayed, he had uh, supper with them, and he had a, a new commandment he gave. He said that uh, when he had given thanks, meaning when he had prayed and, and give thanks, he broke the bread and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Uh, the custom was that uh, we uh, know that they would pass around a, a piece of unleavened bread and that they would break off a piece and that they would each take a piece of that bread. And, and Christ said, This bread that uh, we take is not... A uh, supper that would fill you up, and that's what Paul was talking about here. He said, you know, if you want supper, stay at your houses and eat. And if someone else is hungry, uh, fix them supper at your house and feed them. Uh, don't come to church to uh, eat. Uh, this uh, is not for a meal that you're partaking of. This is a commandment from God that uh, we do in remembrance of Him till we come. And he said here that the bread was a, his body that was broken uh, for me and for you. And that's what I said. When you remember uh, what Christ had to do to redeem mankind, uh, you go through the, the time that he, he was taken and, and beaten and spit in and pull, uh, pulled the hairs on his head and face. And we know that he uh, suffered the beating and the cat of nine tails until he was unrecognizable. And they said that, you know, he was uh, uh, in much pain. He was so weak he couldn't uh, bear under the cross. And we know that uh, that body that was a sacrifice directly from God to take care of the sin. See, man had a sin, and the wages of sin is what? Death. But the gift of God is eternal life. That gift that God has was the body of Jesus Christ to redeem mankind back to, to, to God. And as Christ came that night, he broke it and he wanted them to remember because they were going to face some very tough times. And that's what we need one another as we come together. Uh, Paul is telling them, don't squabble and fight and, and uh, among yourself, but come together with the Lord Jesus Christ first and foremost, that we love Him with all of our heart, mind, and soul, and that we love our brother as ourselves. And I can tell you, uh, it makes a difference how we uh, uh, love the Lord in our life. And it said, in that same manner, He took the cup when He had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. He took the drink and he passed it around and they, they drank the drink and Christ said this is a New Testament. It says in my blood that the, we are redeemed without the shedding of blood. There is no remission of sin. And that has been uh, since uh, Adam and Eve. We know that when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, what happened? Something had to lose its life to uh, put clothes on their back. And how did they know that they were naked, God asked. And, and he knew that they had ate from the tree of knowledge. And you know uh, today that with that sin, each and every one of us stand condemned. Uh, though we could, uh, uh, the Bible says, we give our body to be burned. Where it's a tinkling uh, symbol that we just make a little noise and it soon goes away. But I can tell you, one drop of that precious blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ will wash away the sins. Not only what we uh, have sinned today and yesterday, but all sin that we have done in our life. And it's such a blessing that as we come together, we do this in remembrance of who? Jesus Christ, for He is the head. And it says, As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death 
till I come, that we remember the sacrifice that was made that I might be redeemed, that I might come before God and stand uh, holy and acceptable in God's eyes. And you know, it was, it was a great price that Jesus paid, but he did it willingly. And you know what a blessing it is to think about. It says that there's rejoicing around the throne of God over a multitude of people coming to the Lord. No, it says one sinner. Heaven bursts open in a, a revival, you might say, that over one lost soul. Isn't that great to know why? Because Christ redeemed them. And for everyone that accepts that uh, plan of salvation that Christ had laid out for each and every one, it, they rejoice in the very portals of heaven. It says there that... Uh, to let a man examine himself, and so let him eat the bread and drink of this cup. That as we take part in this communion, that we are to examine our own life. And is there things going on that uh, I have not turned over to God? Is there sin in my life that I need to uh, clear up? Maybe I need to go to my brother and, and tell him I'm sorry. There's things that has to happen to uh, get a clean slate so that I can come and worship. And you know, that's uh, what uh, causes us to uh, have a separation from God is sin. And when we sin in our own life, that uh, that separation is not God moving away because we've sinned, but it's, that sin builds a wall of petition and where we don't uh, uh, communicate with God. And I'm uh, going to move on because I know we've got to sing this song that... Uh, uh, he that eateth and drinketh unworthy eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. And for this cause there are many weak and sickly among us, and many sleep that many have died. Why? Because uh, sin gets in our life, and I can tell you it'll destroy you. I, I watch a program, uh, Intervention, that's on TV that where people have uh, taken drugs, alcohol, and it's destroyed their whole life and they have to really think about whether they want to give that up it, even though they know it's killing them they have to think and it's a struggle to give it up and you know that's the way with sin in our life you would think my goodness why would you not want to wash your sin away by the blood of the Lamb that you wouldn't want to accept what Christ did on Calvary's cross and, and run up and down the street shouting, uh, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. But yet, I've sat at bedsides of people dying and asked them to put their trust in Jesus Christ and ask Him to forgive them. And they would say, not today. I've wept. What is it that builds a petition between God and man? We can't see the love of God that He shed on Calvary's cross. It's sin. We allow it to uh, convince us that God will not let us come to Him because we've, we're unworthy or that there's something there. That old Satan's got his foot in the door and he just keeps prying it open. I can tell you tonight that Jesus Christ died on the cross for Paul's sins, just the same as mine. He died on the cross for the very thief that was on the cross right beside him, the same as the Pharisee that stood in the, the uh, temple. Tonight, if you don't know him as Lord and Savior, I would tell you, Come and accept Him. Just confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in thine heart that God has raised Him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. And tonight, if you don't have anyone to uh, come and uh, break bread and, and drink with you, uh, call on the program. We will come uh, to the house if that's what it takes, because that is something that Christ told us to do in remembrance of Him. It's not for me. It's not for uh, the uh, church, but it's to remember that Christ paid a mighty price for our salvation. Amen. He's coming back.
coming soon, Jesus in all his glory, not just a Savior, but a reigning King, coming soon, and the whole world will be a